Hello everyone! Today's video is going to walk you through the process of building our M20 model. First, let's open the box. Guys, as you're cutting this, be careful not to hurt yourself. After you unbox your bike, you'll find some exceptional accessories inside that you definitely need. So there is the front wheel for your bike, then you'll also find the saddle that will be inside, as well as the fenders, and the last one will be your toolkit. After opening the box, this is how our M20 bike will look like. This is the frame, and then after, you can open this white protection, okay? Make sure to get a sharper scissors. Make the work easy. After taking all the protection out, now it's time to assemble this bike. And we are going to start with the handle bar. Okay, we are starting by putting the handle in place. And you just have to push this inside. And then your handle is in place. If you want to remove it, you just have to carry it like this. And then it's open, okay? Just push it in. And then your handle is in place. Then we can move to the handle bar in here. So the first step is to unscrew the front screw here and you have to remove it completely. When you remove it, make sure not to lose this part and keep it inside the screw. You can put it on the side first, then remove the top part of your safety here and pay attention to this as you are going to need this part to put it back inside. Then when you take your handle, to make sure it's placed in the middle, you can refer to the line on the handle bar. Then you place it straight in the middle. And you have to put back the top part inside. So this part can be a little bit tricky because of this. So take your time. Let me try to put it inside as well. Alright. So after it's inside, you can put back the screw inside. After you put the screw inside, Guys, pay attention not to screw it too tight because if it's screwed too tight, afterwards you have problems moving your endo bar. Okay, so like this is just right. And then your endo is fixed in place. Okay, so we just finished installing the endo bar and now we are going to move on to the front wheel. And when we move to the front wheel, you have to turn the bike upside down. When installing the front wheel, you have to first take out this component from your toolkit. You have to first take out this component, then you can remove all of these on it. You can put it on the side first to make sure you don't lose any of them, okay? So on one side you have one, two, three, four, and on the other side you should have three of them. So just make Make sure you have all of them. Then you can take your front wheel and place this component inside. So this side is the side that's going to enter inside the brake. So pay attention to this side. It should be like this. And the side that is going to enter the brake should have two screw on them. So the smallest one first. The smallest one first, then you can put it the biggest one. Then on the opposite side, you just have one of them, okay? Then you can place it in. When you are placing it in, make sure it enters this brake part, okay? After it enters inside, you can check if your wheel is well placed and if it can move. Then you can take back those ones that you can put on both sides. So first you put this one. Make sure you enter this part inside the hole present here when you are fixing this section. Okay. And you can do the same on the other side. Okay. Right. Let me 
Let's check if it's well in place. All right, now we finish assembling the front wheel. We are going to move the, the bike back up and then we can move to assembling the seat and also the pedals. Okay guys, now we are going to place the seat and to adjust it is super easy. You can place it to your desired height like this and then to maintain it, you just have to close the handle here on the side. The pedals will come from your toolbox, you just have to take them out and on the pedal you will notice there is the motion of the left and the right. After taking the pedal out, make sure this is the right side and then you can push it inside. Make sure not to move on this side but here when you are placing it in. It should be quite easy. And then after, you have your pedal. And you can do the same way for the left side. Okay, our last part today is to install the fender. And when you place it, make sure you place it at the back from the back. You should find a screw to adjust it inside your toolbox. It will be inside the plastic. Take it out. And the screw as well, when you can place it, you can just remove these parts at the back. Make sure to keep it, not lose it. Then you can install it from the front, mm -hmm. like so. And then seal it from the back. Make sure the two of them are at the back. And you can safely seal it inside. okay guys we have reached the end of our video thank you for watching and if you have any question you can contact our email box which is eoster.gmail.com